Today, we will be addressing an important issue. The patient's mindset, a client's mindset, everyone's mindset, which states that dentistry is expensive. Dental treatments are expensive. This doctor dentist is expensive. So today we will understand how is a doctor expensive? How is a dental treatment expensive? If this mindset is correct, if this thought process is correct, and more importantly, do we have a hierarchy? Do we understand the step-by-step -step analysis of why it is expensive and can it not be expensive? So let me ask a very simple question at the outset. The question is, do you brush and floss your teeth correctly and properly? There can be two answers, yes or no. If the answer is yes, my following question is, do you have a timely visit to your dentist once every six months periodically? If the answer to this is yes as well, all your dental care would require is the cost of a checkup and a cleanup. That's it. On the other hand, if your answer to any of the two questions is no, which means you're not brushing and flossing correctly, properly, regularly, or you're not visiting your dentist frequently or periodically, there is the first consequence of waiting. There is a dental plaque built up, which can cause demineralization of the enamel, resulting in tooth cavity. So my dear friends, now you have a cavity. The next question is, do you get this fixed? Again, two answers, possibility yes, or the answer can be no. If the answer is yes, you pay for a filling. If the answer is no, you have another consequence of waiting, which is tooth sensitivity, pain from inflammation or fracture, infection and death of the pulp, or a bone loss. Now you have an abscess, pulp infection, nerve death, root caries or a cracked tooth. So now, do you get it fixed? If yes, you pay for a pulpotomy or a root canal and or a crown. If you don't get it fixed, you have another consequence of waiting. Now there is going to be extreme pain and might need extraction. In conjunction with an abscess, now you could also develop a gum disease. The question again is, do you get it fixed? Yes or no? If your answer is yes, you pay for full mouth debridement, more frequent dental checkups, periodontal scaling and root planing, gingivectomy and or gingivoplasty, additional cleaning and x-rays. If you don't get it fixed, even at this stage, there is another consequence of waiting. You might have gum, bite or root disorders, teeth sensitivity, bone loss and even alignment problems. With so much neglect and subsequent consequences of waiting, now, my friend, you've landed at the stage of periodontitis. The question, however, still remains the same. Do you get it fixed? Yes or no? If your answer is yes, the cost of care will involve more frequent dental checkups, x-rays, periodontal maintenance, full mouth debridement, periodontal scaling and root planing, gingivectomy and or gingivoplasty. If the answer to get it fixed is still no, you will be subjected to another consequence of waiting, which is gum infection, bone loss, toxins entering the bloodstream, immune system involvement, exacerbation of other diseases or chronic conditions, so that is stroke, heart diseases, diabetes, or asthma. Now you have unsalvageable tooth or teeth with the need for implants or dentures. Now do you want to get it fixed? The answer still can be 
a yes or a no if it is yes the cost of dental care will require extraction and replacement with dental implants and or caps bridges dentures if the answer still is no to get it fixed even at this stage you will be subjected to further consequences of waiting which would be tooth removal digestive complications bone loss or infections toxin entering the blood stream immune system involvement exacerbation of other diseases asthma diabetes stroke heart disease premature birth speech impediments nutritional death. now my dear friend i hope you do realize that your poor oral health is affecting your overall health and costing you and the nation's taxpayers even more what could have been avoided with proper optimum brushing flossing maintenance and a regular timely visit to your dentist is now compounded to a problem which would not only require your time energy and money will also make you contemplate that your dentist is expensive the treatments which he has suggested are super lengthy and expensive but on the hindsight if you evaluate you will realize that it's not the dentist it's your neglect it's the consequence of waiting which has proved to be the expensive one